So if we're happy with the accuracy of the data, we can begin to integrate it into our model. Uh, so we've already dragged it in in the previous video. So we're going to import Core ML and Vision ML. And the first thing we need to do is set up the model. So you can use the same piece of code uh, for any of your projects. Uh, basically, all we're doing is importing our model. Uh, of course, it's a vision model, so it's using uh, that vision library. Um, but it's always important to set up uh, your error handling. So we can have a do catch statement. And then we just have some sort of output to say it was unable to load the model. And we'll say what the model is. So let's try create a vision core ML model. And it's going to be called image classifier, which is the name of the file which we dragged into our project, which you can see there. Okay, and then from there, we're going to create a request. type this as accurately as I can, but uh, there may be some errors. I'll, I'll fix them up um, at the end if we, if we come to them. Okay, so here we have created our model request, and we're asking the model to return something, and if it doesn't return something, then it will give us an error, uh, and we're handling that error there as well. So. From that request, we can also choose how we want to crop and center, and then return the request. Okay, I'll fix up those errors in a little bit. We're going to move on to the next part, which is uh, performing the requests. So we can create a new function for this one called update classifications. And then use our image that was sent through. Uh, so just to update the user, we'll tell the user that the model is currently classifying unless they know something is happening. Uh, and then we need to convert our image from UI image to a CI image. Okay, so you can see that's come through on that parameter. And we're going to create an event handler using Vision again. This is a specific library, so you may not uh, recognize the code. Uh, it's pretty unique to this library. Again, we're going to have our event handler, so have a do catch method. Format that output. And then we're going to have a try statement to handle the classification. Okay, then we're on to the final part. I'm going to make this code available for you as well, just so if it's typing a little bit fast for you, uh, you'll be able to see it a bit more clearer. Uh, but I just wanted you to make sure you knew where each part of the code was going and what it's doing. Uh, so now I am just going to process that classification through the request. Uh, and if it's empty, uh, update the user. I can be recognized otherwise. Identify equal. Now, our model will return an array, uh, and we can look at those individual array elements. So that's what I'm doing here. I've got the classification uh, number zero. Remember, we've only got two. We've got the wet and the dry, so it will come back to zero or one. These are the first items. Copy and paste that. Change it to one. And then I'm just going to format for the output. So if you don't remember those backslash ends, that just creates a new line in my text output. A little escape sequence for you. And then type two, and then and confidence two. Okay, that looks like it's working. Check everything else. I can see those errors are still there. Hopefully I'll fix them up in a minute. Um, okay, so now I'm going to just change my button action. So if there's no image available, if it equals nil, uh, they're going to go make it show the image picker. Otherwise, if the I have an image, uh, then I'll get it to run through my model. Okay, so let's just fix up these little errors. Let's 
Sometimes you can just fix them by thing, but I'll probably just type something wrong. Uh, so I'm just going to try retyping this. Okay, and that worked. I don't know what I did wrong there. Uh, okay, so it looks like everything is working. I'm going to give this a run. And then if I press it the first time, it brings my image picker. So I don't have any images in there at the moment. So if you go to your photos, uh, go continue, and delete the old ones. And then I can go to my desktop and just go to my folder and drag some relevant images in just so I can test what I'm doing. Select some random ones just for the demo purposes. Okay, that works. That's why I like to use that um, iPhone SE as well. So it's got that nice home button. But if I choose my images now, first time it puts the image in there, second time it gives me a classification. 